Hey guys, this is C Plus Hacker. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically shut down and restart your computer on Windows 10 using a schedule. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the start menu and type in task scheduler, or I'm just gonna type in task and click on the first option here. Now this program looks really scary, but don't be afraid of it. It's what we're doing is really simple. So on the right hand side, you're gonna see a button that says create task. So click on that. And it brings up a little window. This is where we define what the task does, which is shutting down or restarting, um, and also what triggers it. So we're just going to call it shut down. You can call it whatever you'd like and add a description if you want. Now down here where it says configure for, select that and choose Windows 10 or basically whatever other operating system you've got. Okay, now go to the triggers tab and create a new trigger. So this is basically what is triggering the shutdown or the restart, which for us is a schedule. Now there's a variety of other um, options you can use in here, but for this video, we're just gonna stick to a schedule. So let's say I wanna do it daily at 9 p.m. So I can just choose daily every day uh, at nine o'clock p.m. You can also synchronize that time across time zones if you'd like. Um, and you wanna make sure it's enabled. It should be by default and we're going to press OK. All right, so we've created our trigger. Now we need to make the action of actually shutting down. So let's click New. So what we want it to do is uh, start a program, um, and we're gonna type in a little script here. So we're gonna type in shutdown space forward slash S, or if you want to do a restart, it's gonna be forward slash R. Okay, then you're just gonna press okay. And a little thing is gonna come up and it's gonna say, do you wanna run the program shut down with the arguments of slash S or slash R and you just say okay. Um, okay, and then we wanna to go to our conditions. So conditions is basically more triggers pretty much or more customization as to what you when you want it to work. Now this is important if you're using your computer and you don't want it to shut down at the scheduled time if you're using it. So right here in the idle section, you might wanna check this box that says, start the task only if the computer is idle for a certain amount of time. So for example, if I'm using the computer, it hits 9 p.m., I don't want it to stop working. Um, so it's only gonna work if it's been idle for 10 minutes. Um, however, if I get off my computer, but I still want it to restart sometime after 9 p.m., then it's going to wait for me to be idle for an hour or whatever I choose. So you can customize these times. So let's say I get off a little after 9, but it's still within the hour, then it is going to shut down. Okay, um, now there's some other important options, things like only doing the task if you're plugged in or not doing it if you're on battery power um, or doing it on a specific um, internet network, basically. Uh, then you can go to the settings tab, which is where there's some more options. Um, so there are some interesting options in here, such as um, stop if the task runs longer than a set amount of time. So for example, if the command runs and tells the computer to shut down, but for some reason it doesn't work or it is being really slow, it takes a long time, this will force that to stop doing it after so long. So I can say an hour. So essentially it's not going to hurt your computer because it's going to keep trying to run this task. So if it doesn't work, which is unlikely, um, but if it doesn't, then it will turn off after the set amount of time. Okay, and then this um, other checkbox will, will force it to, uh, to shut down um, if it doesn't, if it, the first one doesn't work. Um, and then there is another setting uh, right in the, let me see, I believe it's triggers, whoops. Okay, so I forgot to mention something. In the triggers menu, there's an option to expire, which basically delete or not deletes, but disables the task at a certain time. So let's say 
you only want it to restart nightly for a week and then you want it to be done. Well, you can set the expiration date for in a week and then it will just disable it and not do it. Okay, so we've set up our task. You can press okay. Um, now to view your tasks, go up here to the left and click on task schedule library. So this is going to show the tasks you've got. So there's some predefined ones used in, or there may be some predefined ones used in other software. But here's ours, it says shut down, um, it's ready to go, and it's going to do it at 9 p.m. every day. And this is going to tell you the next time it's going to do it, um, the last time it did it, and the result, like if it worked or not, basically. Um, and you can see that it's authored by me. Okay, great. So then we're going, if you want to edit this, you can just double click on it. Um, and and see the options, or you can right click and um, and press delete. Now you can close this. So that is going to restart or shut down your computer at the scheduled time. But there's even more options as to how you can shut it down. For example, you can hibernate it, you can log off, things like that. I'm going to show you some of those other options. So if I open command prompt, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything too scary. So I'm going to type in shutdown. So this is the command we used, space forward slash question mark. That just shows me the options that I have for that command. So if you look at this, there's things like log off or use a graphical user interface when you're logging off. The, the normal shutdown, the way it works is about a minute. I, th I think about a minute before it's going to shut down, a, a warning message comes up and says it's going to shut down um, just to kind of warn you. But there's all sorts of options. You can um, choose to hibernate. Um, you know, you can look through these. You can type in the command yourself and, and look through these. So how do we use these? Well, let's go back to our task scheduler and let's go and edit our task by double clicking on it. So if I go to the actions, click this one and choose edit, you can see that our arguments that we threw in, it said slash s, which means shut down or slash r for restart. So all we have to do to use these other options is change the letter that we're using. So for example, if I just want it to log off, then I will change this to slash l and press OK. And then at the specified time, it will log off. Um, so that's what you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more things like this. And until next time, peace.